Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin! I mean, Super Paper Mario. Right, I got confused by that sprout on his head. Alright, well, never mind. Um, we can actually go through that scanner now that we have the sprout on our head. Because then I'll tell you right now that scanner, and as soon as I can get- God damn it, get up the- get up there! Thank you. The scanner that was blocking our path earlier is actually a, um, a brainwash scanner. It detects whether or not the Kragnons, or any sort of being whatsoever that goes through it, has um, a sprout on its head. Not necessarily the mental state of the um, person per se, but just the sprout on the head. Watch. You'll, you'll see. Yep, we're clear to go through. And through a very fancy looking door, might I add. Hmm. It, wow, what is this place? King Croacus the first reign one to four ninety six. Wow, Jesus, four hundred ninety six years. The first king of the Flora Kingdom, Croacus the first, is known as the greatest of kings. He united the Floro Sapiens under a single cause, creating the Flora Kingdom. Hmm. He made a capital here and established a calendar. began begun at the kingdom's birth. Heavily armored, he bore deadly thorns and came to be called the Iron Rose. Well, if you look at his petals, I guess, they look ironish. The kingdom's infrastructure and early roads were built by Croacus the first's design. But when his successor, the prince, wilted unexpectedly, so did Croacus the first's spirit. The floor of year 40, 444 marked the start of his reign of fear, the darkening. Ooh, dear god, it sounds like Europe. Eventually, Croacus the first and his foul regime were overthrown in a sappy coup d'etat. Or coup d'etat. The king was struck down, marking the official end of the darkening. His wilting words were said to be the Iron Rose shan't wither, but wither he did. Ah, interesting backstory. I actually like the backstory they kind of give you here uh, in the halls of King Croacus. Queen Croacus II. Oh, a queen. Reign 496 to 1290. Jesus Christ. How long has this kingdom been around? Croacus II was the daughter of the great ruler King Croacus I. Croacus II was imprisoned for being critical of the former king's policies, but when he was overthrown by the people, Croacus II was freed and given the throne. Her efforts to reduce taxes and study diseases made Croacus II very popular. Eventually, her influence helped ease the scars of the darkening the, the darkening had left. <laughs> Speak. She also compiled a Floro Sapiens prehistory called the Flictionarian? Flictionarian. Huh. The book was to be her legacy, a historic mark of her benevolent influence. Croacus II feared the fight for the throne that might ensue if she bore many heirs. She had but one heir late in her life. This earned her the name the White Maiden. Huh. Interesting. So she was pretty much the virgin queen, I guess. And I can kill these guys pretty easily. Ah, <laughs> oh, ultimate combo. I like that. And you, King Croacus the Third. Oh wow, you had a short span. Reign 1298 to 1385. Croacus the Third was just one when his mother wilted. He became the youngest king ever. The young king had a great pred predilection and talent for poetry and art. Oh, kind of like me, except minus the art bit. I can't draw for crap. His talent was evident in works like Ice Rose, a book of poems from his 37th year. But he was also afflicted by a terrible disease from the time he was born. Ooh, that sounds bad. Without ever impacting the affairs of his kingdom, he wilted at age 88. The cause of his wilting was never made public. Many suspected a conspiracy. This was never confirmed. Huh. It, oh, hello you. King Croacus the Fourth, reign 1385 to present. So this is the King Croacus we have to fight, the fourth. Formerly a regent for King Croacus III, he ruled in place of the frail child king. So he's not even of the original bloodline. After Croacus III's wilting, he, his service was recognized and he was made king. Hell yeah, I guess since the third never had any kids of his own. His stabilizing influence and political savvy made him popular and well-known. His recent achievements include... In Florida year 1625, he invented a method for mind-controlling Kragnons. Oh god, that's not good. In Florida year 1626, he spe spearheaded an initiative to enslave Kragnons en masse. 
God damn it, he sounds like a tyrant to me. But his people love him. Huh, go figure. All right, I'm missing something. Aha, that's right, I can see. You notice there were actually cracks underneath the ice queen, or the white, the virgin queen's picture. Eh, damn it. There we go. Down we go. Oh, god damn it, of course I'd land on a Kragnon, wouldn't I? Uh, right. Okay. Throw, if you would. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I think I remember what I need to do. I have to match the... Yeah, I have to match the colors to the paintings. Very ingenious little puzzle that, well... Takes a moment for people to figure out what exactly you need to do. Uh, I don't think I have to do one for the fourth, though, if I remember correctly. Down we go. Crap! Ugh, I hate these things. Make me lose points. I don't want to lose points. I worked hard for them, damn it. So we want blue. There we go. Blue. Done. And down this one. Ooh, question mark block. What's in here? Oh, whoa! Ultra Shroom. Very nice. And we need to make this one black. Right, okay. I think that was it, wasn't it? It should have been. Am I missing something? Probably something to do with the fourth's picture. Be my, it would be my guess. Because, I mean, there is no cracks unless they're hidden. Yeah, they are. They're just hidden cracks. Okay, you gotta do this one, too. Never mind. Oh, there's a safe block here, too. I get the feeling I should use it. Oh, that's what that message is. <laughs> I'm about to run out of battery powers on my Wiimote. My battery's about to die on my Wiimote. Why the hell do I insist on wording things very awkwardly? I don't know. All right, well, that was that, and it, whoa. Okay, there's the door. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's do this. Liu, where, oh, where are my pretties? Whoa, you are a freaky looking thing. Pretties, beautiful things. We bring them to me. More, more, more. Uh, hey there, buddy. What is this hideous, clashing thing? Um, are you King Croacus? So you must be the intruders I've heard so much about. Well, I will not forgive the great trashening of my beautiful kingdom. No, you. Oh, God. Thus you are warned. King Croacus, you must release the enslaved, the Kragnons you've enslaved. What does it mean? Screwing up words tonight. I don't understand. Never. The sturdy bodies make them such fine workers. Exquisite. I need them to dig up more gems so I can build a bejeweled palace. We. Why, how positively hoarded. Release them this instant. Trash is garbage, no matter how you dress it. This world is made for beauty. And if you need some proof, then have a look at this. Ah, uh, oh, he has the pure heart, of course. It's the pure heart. Ah, go figure that, Tippy. I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly, you can barely think. Mm. Well, that's what he said. Seems we all seek beauty. So how dare you take a high horse over me? Don't compare us to you. We're nothing like you. Your blabber hurts my ears, and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. I rarely stoop to such things when I'll destroy you myself. Consider it an honor. Ah, uh, bring it on, freak. Uh, what? Oh, God. What? 
I've never seen a plant like this before. Um. Hey there. Here I come. Oh, God. I forget how to fight this guy. Um. That's King Croacus. He leads the floor of sapiens and loves beautiful things. Unfortunately, that does not work out for us. Max HP is 50, attack is 2. He's actually weaker than no chunks was that we just, you know, we just trashed him. He attacks with his head, unlike other forest sapiens, so nothing new there. I don't think you can damage him when his face is closed off like that. Yeah, that's definitely a good point. Using Thoreau to grab stuff, then jumping into him works pretty well, though. So yes, we get to actually use Thoreau for the first time in a while. Yeah, ow. Hello, you. Ha-ha! Uh, that didn't work. Oh, God. I picked him up. <laughs> that worked. I was not expecting that. I didn't think I could pick him up. Yeah. This fight is a pain in the ass. In case you couldn't tell, because these things just keep getting in your way. Got him. Ow. Oh, God. Leave me alone. Oh. Ow! You! Tool! Haha! -ha. Did I... I got him already? What? Uh, oh! Welcome to phase two! Oh god, help me, help me! Um, is he... she gonna give us a, another... Oh, okay, no, nothing new. Can I actually pick those up? Oh! Ow! Oh, hello! Hello! I can. And that's exactly how I heard him. Ha ha! You, sir, can't do anything. I'll throw you around. Ah, I can jump on you like that. I'll throw you into your own... Whoa, spinning wheels of doom. Come on! Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> God damn it, I'm missing. Oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> we got him. Easy as pie. That was not hard at all. Beautiful. Even as I will die, I am, I am beautiful. Oh, God, he's creepy. What? what, what, what? Uh, oh, God. What? Whoa! What did you guys do, huh? We have defeated your king. Get over it. Hey, shut up! You don't get it all at all. You don't get it at all! King Croacus was awesome. He totally thought of his people first, man. And you. You wilted him! What? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Water, man! I'm talking about water! The Kragnons were polluting our water! Oh! If you remember, back when we first got here and we talked to that Kragnon over the river, they quote-unquote returned garbage to nature by throwing it in the river. Those dudes were tossing trash into the river! We had to drink that crud! That dirty water was what drove our king bonkers, don't you get it? Oh, oh wow. So, then... Oh. Of course, I knew it all along. Uh, oh, what are you doing here? You and your stooges. Correctly ho! Emergency special report from the Floro front lines. Environmental pollution drives Floro sapiens mad. Whither will they rampage? So the villagers throwing garbage into the river was the reason for this whole thing. Well, I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. This place well with green Kragnon crowd. Or this play. Not place. Ratings explode, brah. It like Crags on Ice meets Baron von Kragington. Yes, once my fellow villagers see this, they'll surely realize the error of their ways. Once the words of Flint Cragley reach them, they'll throw garbage no more. Yeah, water man. I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure. 
Know what I mean? You promise not to dirty our water and we'll just chill down here and be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers' noggins too, man. Sounds like a fine way to keep the peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. That was a rather unexpected turn. <laughs> ah, Dippy, you have no idea. Wailing on our king aside, you guys are totally heroes. You should take this. Oh, so I kill your king. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Let me get this straight. I break into your caverns. Actually, no, I chase one of your groups across the wastelands. Through your caverns, infiltrate your hidden base, kill your workers, kill your own people, wither or wilt your king, and now you're rewarding me. All right, I'll take that log logic. I won't complain. And... We got up your heart! At long last, too. End of chapter! Men of true grit, witness li- Men of true grit, sorry. Witness live- Witness live what others can only see through crack vision. What? Oh! This is, uh, okay, this is Cragley, I think. Yep, Cragley ho. Having wrapped their latest shoot, Flint and crew went back to downtown of Crag. Mario and friends clutched the sixth pure heart as they walked back towards Flipside. Our heroes had taken a new step toward overturning the prophecy of destruction. And I will save my progress as I take a sip of Pepsi. <sighs> ah, I needed that. Raise your chunks in the air as the most debonair man of men strides into the room. Springing forth from his lair is foes all despair for Black be the name or their doom. What are you doing, oh chunks? Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> Quit it, you breaking windows. <laughs> Oh, that? Yeah, I just had O-Chunks come up with a nice motivational tune. God, Nastasia, you really are nasty. And as punishment for getting beat by that hero AGAIN, I'm making him sing it 1,000 times. Jesus, that's that's harsh. 1,000, 1,000 times? Gosh, you're even more evil than I thought. Hey, but enough chatting. So where's the Count, huh? I want to see him. He hasn't called me to go do anything, and I'm getting so bored. Oh, hello, Mr. L. My destructive little friend is all gassed up and itching to get back into action. Yes, Robot is begging me to take him out. Say the word and I'll roll out. Yeah, great enthusiasm, but let's shelve the robot action plan for now, okay? That's what she said. Okay. The thing is, the Count kinda left specific orders for us to stand by. Got that? No way! We're just supposed to wait here for that big mean hero to come get us? Yeah, that's that's the plan. So, the Count doesn't need my services? Excellent! I'll just be off then. You go nowhere! We wait! It's the Count's direct order. His word is absolute. Be a good little minion and do not move until told. Okay, thanks. Well, she kind of flipped out there. <laughs> but I'm bored. And Robot craves his daily smash. I can't just loiter here. There's no action. <laughs> Hard to stay still when you pine for sweet vengeance, isn't it? Dementio. The Count's orders are all absolute, completely without exception. Yes. We shouldn't even dare to think about a secret sneak attack. Perish the thought. Defeating the hero would please the Count greatly, but we must follow orders. Wow. <clears throat> I just had a coughing fit like you wouldn't believe. That was weird. <clears throat> Oopsie. I just remembered something like real important that I gotta do. Back in a jiffy. Bye. Of course you did, Mimi. Yeah. Yeah. I've uh, got to go deep. Flavorize the robot's, uh, flavorizer. I'll return once everything's up to code. Later, Dementio. 
Oh, Mr. L. <laughs> My, isn't that something? I do believe I should be moving on as well. We're just gonna leave out chunks to fester there. Why not? Look, Timpani, the stars are beautiful, aren't they? There's a tradition in my village. We believe that wishes on stars will come true. Oh, is that so? In that case, we'd better get wishing, don't you think? I don't need a wish anymore. Hmm? I already got my wish. Now, I have everything I need right here. Timpani, aren't you cold? Not at all. I'm very warm. Can we stay like this? Just a little longer. Aw. That's sweet. Still not entirely sure what that's supposed to mean, but... Tippy. Tippy. Earth to Tippy. What? What's the matter, Tippy? You seemed a little out of it there. Well, didn't you just hear something? No? Well, alright then. It's just that, for a second, I thought I had remembered something very important. Ah, it's just your imagination, Tippy. Don't worry about it. The void. It looks as though it's gotten bigger. We'll need to open the door to the next world quickly. Let's hurry. Right. And we shall do that, but first things first, before I get any more hate mail on this topic, I did not forget about this. This is usually the time when I pick this guy up. <laughs> you won't believe the amount of comments I've gotten about this guy. Do you remember back when we did chapter 3-1 and we met that pixel here in the beginning of the chapter? Who gave us the hints of how to get through this area? Well, he's still here. Whoa, ho now! You want to hear the three tips again? Just say the word. Can't you see? That's really not necessary. Mario, ar Mario already saved me. N no more hints? No way! You defeated Francis! Whoa, ho, ho! Slow down! That's huge news! I'm just glad I could help with that daring mission to infiltrate the nerd lair! So, uh, I guess there's no need for me to stay here and give out tips? Huh, I guess I've done my job. Got nothing to do now. Oh, hey, how about I tag along with you guys? Well, I've made up my mind. I'm coming along whether you want me to or not. And with that, we get... Barry the Prickly Pixel to join our group. Barry literally does what his name says. He creates a barrier around you. Spiky barrier. Like so. Very useful for the upcoming area, which is why I usually don't get him till then. Ah, right. Okay, well, on that note, let's head back to Flipside and call it a video. So, with that, we finish Chapter 5. We'll find the next heart pillar for the pure heart in the next video. So, I'm the Musical Gamer, signing off. See you guys next video.